dirt roads to rock crawling, tuba chuck to screaming eagle, moonshine to 50 year old single malt. We talk about it all here on Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey with your hosts, Jason and Chris. Welcome to Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey, episode 131, the holiday episode, Black Friday special. Oh, you know what that means, Chris. <laughs> Holidays are coming. Mariah's singing. Whether we like it or not. Oh. And well, if you can get the gifts, that's still be determined. <laughs> Isn't there uh, still a big backup of container ships yeah, off the coast? Yeah, did you see the meme with uh, uh, Kermit the Frog on a little little boat? Yeah, a little inflatable out, boat. Out there <laughs> around the cargo ships, and I'm going to do a little early Christmas shopping, get a jump on Christmas shopping. I did see that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> But there's some truth to that. There's a lot of truth to that, <laughs> unfortunately. Don't you have some parts sitting out there you're waiting for? Uh, maybe. I don't, I'm sure there's a lot of parts sitting out there. I'm sure oh. Jimmy or uh, Tyler from Snail Trail is probably waiting for a bunch of stuff on a container. And Can you imagine God, trying to build an Ultra 4 car for, for KOH right now, waiting oh for parts? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. On a container? Well, it's just you know made in America. But a lot of the stuff that's made in America, they have raw materials come from yes. overseas. So yes. I don't know. It's well, good crunch time so we uh we got together with the snail boys which yes, uh, you should have heard their their segment on monday if you haven't go ahead and hit pause on our podcast i don't even know what episode number that was probably 375 <clears throat> oh for something. them yeah it's definitely uh two something 250 something 240 something i don't know well they record like 10 episodes a week so so yeah they uh you got to go back and listen to their that this was uh, uh their first they took the first segment here, the zero to 50 right. uh, category. So, you know, we met up with the Snail Boys and uh, Lee Lim from, uh, or Re Rim, as some people call him. <laughs> cruising from, to Camp. From Cruising to Camp. So Podcast, yes. uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I hung out with those boys and uh, got got some uh, some good ideas for Christmas gifts yep. if you are, are searching for that, that gift for that special someone. Some of them were imbibing pretty heavily too um, yeah uh, i think and they killed one of your it's bottles still there. dead yeah the weeded is gone she uh gone. lorenzo lorenzo and i are still sober um so lorenzo's we, still here i haven't missed anything he's still here he did he he tried to well he didn't try the uh, snail boys tried to take him and lee <laughs> lee was part of it so um i just gonna you know we're keeping a close eye on those people you might need to put a safe room in this house <clears throat> no he just uh, pan- panic he's, room. he's got a chip he's got a chip now oh. and uh he's gonna he's got a glitter bomb inside of him so he's gonna just <laughs> self-destruct and there's gonna be glitter everywhere when they take him so could have could have put the chip in a little less uh you know i know obvious place the other than clamping it yes. to his ear yes I mean. uh, yeah like a, a cow tag <laughs> cow tag <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, so zero to fifty. Listen to them, and then we've got the fifty to a hundred coming up right now. That's right, over yeah. fifty, under a hundred category with some pretty good ideas. Uh, I think different so. stuff. Yeah, we yeah, because I mean, last year we had our our you know episode that we did, and this year's we try to have new fresh stuff. So yeah, oh, and then fo- following up, this is going to be Lee Lim's episode on cruising to camp with the unlimited. Correct. So to infinity and beyond. <laughs> We came up with some good ones there. Exactly. No, it was so. a very reasonable until we got their final bonus round. That's when it got crazy. Well, loose lip, lip sync ships, right? Yeah, that's well, right. I don't know if that really applies. No, whatever. it doesn't. I have no idea why you said that. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's roll it. You don't want to give out any uh, secrets? No, no secrets. Okay. I have no secrets. No, no secrets at all. Okay. Okay. All right. Anything you want to tell us? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, should I? Should I make something up right you, now? You have a guilty conscience. No, I was uh, just thinking. You, you don't want to give away the uh, what what's in the infinity to, and beyond, is what you're saying. No, no, no. That's all. That's that comes up Wednesday or Thursday. So, so it's going to be Thursday. Okay. So we're Tuesday. If you're listening to this on Tuesday, if you're listening to us Tuesday of the year 2032, then you're. Uh, you're two thousand and late. Yeah, and if you know, we don't know if even any of the other they're other probably they're still probably not around. available anymore. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Internet might not exist. <laughs> anyway, in the meantime, let's and roll. Chris this. is still not wheeling. Let's roll. All right, let's go into it. Let's roll this beastie. We are here in our home studio. Yeah, 
Right, Chris? Uh, it's not my home, but it's yours. And we have, well, yeah. It's <laughs> my, well, the bank owns part of it. Well, they, uh, I think we're all in that same boat. Yeah. Um, but I own this section of the house, so it's mine. Is that chair my is yours? This chair. Do you have a remote? My, Maybe my, a dog named Shithead? That's right. <laughs> that's another movie reference that they'll never get. So we've got some uh, guests here of honor. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Around, uh, around, I wasn't talking about you. I was talking uh, about Lee Lim. <laughs> Lee Lim is here. Hello. <laughs> Lee Lim from Cruising to Camp podcast. Yes, and then, uh, of course, uh, Tyler and Jimmy from the Snail Trail podcast. Snail Trail 4x4. <laughs> so we had this crazy idea of doing this uh, gift guide holiday episode. And, uh, and then I said, hey, let's, let's go wheeling because, uh, you know, why not? And it was a beautiful day, so we yeah. went to Hollister Hills, S-V-R-A. Where's that at? Is that in Hollister? South. <laughs> Is that where the shirts come from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's where the shirts come from. Yeah, I, I made fun of so many people when they when I know finally knew where Hollister actually was, and I go, oh, Hollister, that's so cool. You know the you've been there, and they're like, no, but it's such a nice beach city. I'm like, uh, no, that's no, not the one. No, 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 no it's not the one. <laughs> Try again. Yep. It is the uh, the diamond in our state park system, though, for it off roading. It's really nice, well uh, maintained, uh, great facilities, great trails. It has Wi Fi. It has Wi Fi. Yeah. yeah. And it's yeah. an absolute Wi-Fi. bargain Showers. for a daily fee. I mean, yeah, you, five bucks. You can't mm-hmm. go wrong. No. Absolutely. I'll get into the park. All you can you build eat for five bucks. Yeah, and you can, can camp. Eat. And camping, yeah, camping's mm-hmm. ten bucks a night. Yeah, yeah. There was nobody camping when we arrived. There was, at the, Sycamore. There was. There was. There was a Sycamore. Yeah, campers. Sycamore. There was uh, some tent campers. There was an RTT. That's a mm-hmm. rooftop tent, Chris. Oh, well, there mm-hmm. was a rooftop tent yeah, driving yeah. around with Overlander. us today, too. There yeah, was a, then we had a, there was a bunch of campers at Area Five. Yeah, Area so. Five was well, that was all Cal well, Poly. Yeah, we'll talk about them in yeah. a little bit. <laughs> So, um, so Jason's yeah. groupies. Let's talk about the uh, yeah, my fan club. It's awesome. <laughs> Done. Uh, so let's talk about the uh, day's activities. So we met down there around uh, nine thirty ten ish. Yeah. Uh, we Chris and I got there, and our, our neighbor Jim. It's, yeah. Big Jim. Big Jim. And the twins. And uh, got there, and then uh, then uh, Lee showed up shortly afterwards, mm-hmm. and then the uh, snail boys crawled on in, slithered in. We <laughs> left a trail. You did. It was a little, little, little mucus trail. Like the rangers the came across, and I'm like, what the fuck is <laughs> going on here? That's right. <laughs> so uh, we were uh, playing in the obstacle course area. I had to go back and lead you guys in because uh, you'd never been to that section of the park before or something. I've never been to the park, period. Yeah. So, so that was, what'd what did you think of the park? You got a good little overview today. I mean, for for an off road park, I thought it was decent, uh-huh. um, but it's nothing like the Sierra Nevadas. Well, uh, no, that's, that's my no. problem, right? But it's not, yeah, mm-hmm. and it's but it's a great place to recreate, and uh, it's not Prairie City where it's just a couple little obstacles and poof, and you get a, a track. you get baked out in the sun, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, Prairie no, City, no, you just <laughs> get poison oak. Yeah, so no, yeah. For <laughs> for an off road state run park, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, will I come back? And purposely make the trip out there? Probably not. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. You're pretty high and mighty. <clears throat> Unless oh. there's a reason to. Unless there's a reason, like some yeah. kind of event going on or something. But, but like, you're closer to a trail. Yeah. I'm right? within three hours of all the Sierra Nevada trails. So it's like, why would I go out to Hollister when I have all of nature? Well, yeah. I'm not saying it's drive. your new favorite place, but I'm just, it's a nice, nice park. Yeah, I agree, and I, okay. I I would agree as a state run off road park. Absolutely, yeah. if you're near it, if it's closer to you than any other trails, the one hundred percent, I'd probably oh, yeah. be going there. It's so. a great, it's a great place for us to test mm-hmm. uh, when mm-hmm. we do things to our rigs because they, you can do everything from mild to wild. There is mm-hmm. a, a diverse, a uh, lot of diverse terrain there. Yeah. There is one hundred percent hill climb, sand. Trouble, yeah. You get into rocks. There's loose rocks. There's boulders, and you, know, you get to McCrazy Road. You know, I mean, there's just, and then of course the obstacle courses that are. Um, I don't know, to, to, with the log, uh, with this frame twister. I, I will say that the park, uh, with the rain that we've had the beginning of winter, <laughs> there was quite a bit of mud. Um, so a lot of the obstacles that we would like to play in were, uh, because we don't like mud, were unavailable to us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. See, I'm no. used to like Prairie City where every obstacle is mud. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was enjoyable. Um uh, you know, if I was, you know, I got to ride wrong seat all day long, oh, which was the wrong seat, which was fun. It was interesting. Uh, it was a good ride. So it was a definitely I tried different. To give you some left, left seat action. That's true. Um, but it was, it was different experience where, um, I was like, I, I don't know, maybe it would have been better if I was driving, but I, I enjoyed riding passenger today. It was a good time. Um, it seemed naps? like, 
now. Uh, it seemed like there was a lot of <laughs> obstacles where it goes really, really easy. Like going in Kermit, I could probably not pay any attention and do just fine in most of them. And then it, all of a sudden it goes into super crazy where I'm like, I'm not going to take Kermit on that. <laughs> there, there's not a whole, I didn't feel like there was a whole lot of in between um, uh, is, was my feeling about uh, the place. Well, not you didn't on the see, trail. you didn't see the whole park. I mean, yeah. true. You was, got a quick little snippet. True. Yeah. What was yeah. that little rock garden thing we went to before they got, they got here? Um, in the obstacle course. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I don't know if it's got a name, but it's just, just the part of the obstacle course. There's all kinds of cool little, features there but yeah you yeah, yeah right, right near the stair step yeah right at the beginning mm-hmm. that that used to be a, a washed out goalie so they filled it with rocks so it's a good little rock crawling area now yeah uh you know short little mini that was i never saw ass. i never saw that that yeah. was that yeah. was right yeah. in between okay because you guys were we, taking forever to unload <laughs> we never went into that area <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. you got Well, you guys went in and then you stopped and I'm over playing on the line. Yeah. You guys are over there jaw jacking or whatever. I don't know. Bench racing. Tyler or... fell into conversation with Jim and like, oh, I was oh, like, yeah. well, I better turn my <laughs> engine off. And then Chris pulled up alongside me. should have kicked Lee him out. was in a freaking Jeep. So. Yeah, we were like, what is going on <laughs> well, here? <laughs> well, yeah, well, you know, Jeeps have issues. And they do. And so I had to help a Jeeper out. Wow. I didn't. Well, you know, we are so over that guy saves the Jeep day again. Oh. And he was wrong. the rest of the day. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> what was wrong? So what was going on, Lee? Oh, first, first he burned, it said he burned his clutch out and he was going to go back. Oh, home. was this the uh, shit box? Yeah, the XJ. XJ. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. And, and then we saw him and he came back, came around later and he said he couldn't get into gear. Oh. So he's like, well, I don't know what to do. So I said, hey, can I jump in and maybe I can you know, ah, throw it into I gear see. for you? So I did a little rev matching and threw it into second. <laughs> 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 nice. Right on. Yeah. So you would think that somebody who cannot get their rig into gear because their clutch is gone, what would they do for the rest of the day? I just, he, you, you would think, what would they, what, what you would were they supposed they would, to do? They would try to get their rig out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> try to get their the rig out. We, we done. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. But he showed up later. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, ma- magical fingers I have. He was determined. Yeah. That was his first time four wheeling, first time to the park. That was a shit box. Well, yeah. new. Mm-hmm. That, that rig was new to them. It was new to them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Why, why did we go to Hollister in the first place? Because we want to hang out with all these great people. This was or, a this was to try and uh, a ploy to get Chris in his Jeep four wheeling in the dirt again. It worked. Woo-hoo! It worked. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you that. Oh, you're not on the right one. <laughs> oh. Oh, there Where's the is. applause? <laughs> it's awfully quiet. Jimmy's playing. Yeah, turn that up no. with the buttons. No. Your applause. You button. can't handle oh. the truth. I don't know. Yeah, so we got. <laughs> It, we, it almost didn't happen, and I want to tell that real quick. Oh, here we go. Let's, so, let's hear this. Really? So no. my, my trailer, <laughs> just in. Where, I, is where I store my trailers in, oh. uh. in like an agricultural field, mm-hmm. and uh, I called my son who lives there, and I said, hey, what are the chances of me getting my trailer out? And he's like, yeah, not good. <laughs> <laughs> not a good day for that? No. <laughs> no, it's it, with all the rain, that, that area field turns into a swamp. Uh, um, we and, got recovery straps. We got winches. Oh, yeah. Well, we got... We got two inches. So anyway, but it's overridden by the owner of the property. He he has the final say on if if you can retrieve or not. And uh, I, I ran. I, I Craig's like, no, I don't think it's any. You're gonna get out there, Dad. And I'm like, I'm driving home. I said, I'm gonna swing by and take a look. And so I did. And I, I walked out there. And I'm like, oh shit, this is really wet. <laughs> so I started sinking. It's like peat, peat moss or wood chips that are super. Uh, anyway, there's no bottom. Scotch. Was there bodies in there? Scotch. There might be. Scotch. Very pretty bodies. Bog bodies. Bodies. So bog bodies, I walk back and I'm getting into my scotch. truck and I'm I'm gonna call Jason and say, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to my trailer. And then the owner of the property walks out and he's just like, hey, Chris, what's up? And I said, oh, I was thinking about hoping to get my trailer. He's like, yeah, you're not driving your truck out there. He said, no, I figured that out. He's like, but I might be able to get my tractor out there. I said, like, yeah. oh, I don't want to inconvenience you. He's like, no, it's no big deal. I'm, I'm kind of not doing anything right now anyway. So he had a big four-wheel drive, I don't know, Kubota or Massey Ferguson, whatever, with big you know, farm tires on mm-hmm. it. And he load, puts a ball on the, on the front end, the loader thing, and drives out. He almost got stuck. <laughs> drives out, <laughs> hook, uh, lifts up the front of the trailer and drag, dragged it out for me. So nice. super cool. Um, you would have driven your Jeep out there today, though, right? Again, he wouldn't let me. You know, it's no, uh, no. You would have no. You would have driven your Jeep out to Hollister today. Oh, I don't know about that. Really? That's that's no. <laughs> 
Dude, it was a nightmare driving to that meetup up in uh, San, San, Sacramento. Uh, Sacramento two years ago with 33s. That's I, about the same. I mean, it's a little less distance out to Hollister for you, right? I'm on 35s now. It's very unpleasant. <laughs> unpleasant. <laughs> okay. so, unpleasant. Wow. It's a trailer queen, dude. Wow. It's a trailer queen. Anyway, I, I, I got the trailer, 35s. brought it, loaded it, and I was here, mm-hmm. and I had a good time with you guys today. And nice. I'm, I'm thankful for that. So yeah. And everything worked. Everything worked. Yeah, so nothing to do on your rig. It's all good to go for the uh, next event. I'm going to check that Perfect. tie rod that I smacked into a rock oh, a yeah. times. Beat your rod on the rock. <laughs> yeah, bam, bam. Mm. And it's like uh, Jim's thing? like, it yeah. Jeep thing. You <laughs> wouldn't understand, Lee. You need to back up. And, and I drove it forward, and he's like, yeah, you need to go a different oh. way. <laughs> so I just keep, yeah. kept hitting it. Anyway, yeah, Jeep ran great. It was, uh, I got it, you know. Good. It was good to get out. Weather was great, as you mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a great day today. Park wasn't too crowded. I no, mean, it wasn't uh, too bad. Uh, Not a lot of golf carts. Well, uh, they seemed to show There's up later in the day when we were yeah, but, ready to leave. but before it's like overrun with golf carts. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, everybody was carts. pretty well behaved. Um, the Bronco experience was going on. Oh yeah, we saw some nice Broncos re- re- wheeling around there. That's right. Yeah. So, so I mean, those look nice and shiny, and they have pretty little displays in it and tyler's gonna get his at some point they need bigger tires well they do that's They're, gonna happen yeah i didn't see a single one do an ass drag either no i know i was a little disappointed about that especially that little tight turn right where we were all parked well and they all had, the, they with had all a the whole other area they were demoing all that stuff in the yeah. motorcycle park uh, or motorcycle track uh okay. so when we were up on uh chaparral Mm-hmm. And I told you guys, hey, look down the, the motorcycle track. And they had a whole coned mm-hmm. off area, and that's where they were doing that stuff. Uh, okay. Mm-hmm. So they were just coming into the park to do trail rides and kind of go over some obstacles and stuff, mm-hmm. kind of some real life stuff. And then, but all their main, like, hey, check this out. It can pivot and mm-hmm. do this and da da da. Yeah, but wouldn't so, the trail be the perfect time to show that off? Well, yeah, but it, they, they want to be a little more controlled environment than a bunch of yahoos like us around them goating them on. <laughs> Send it! <laughs> what are you, what are you Punch saying? it! Are we a bunch of yahoos? Oh, yeah. Were there uh, yahoos out there today? Yes, there were uh, yahoos. Did yahoos. you know any of them? Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking at a few right here. Yeah. And then uh, we went over to McCrazy, did a little trail ride out of the quarry, and we ended up at McCrazy Road. And yeah, the quarry was fun. What happened over at the quarry there, Lee? You were kind of uh, getting wheels up in the air just, or something, just I heard? a little experimentation. Yeah. <laughs> Is, that <laughs> what it out? Is that what you call it nowadays? <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I know. I came up. I came doing up a the Jeep steep. wave with a Toyota. Yeah. yeah, just a little, little, got a little tipsy. Yeah, but, uh, Tyler had to go over and guide you out. Too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Did we need a strap? He, we were Jimmy and I were both watching him in our mirror, and he's coming up, and all of a sudden he just the whole like passenger side of his rig goes down in this big hole, and the whole driver's side just comes way up in the air. We're like, oh. oh. And then he came back down, and we're like, okay, he's oh. good. All right. You, Lee, you should bad. probably get a little bit more passenger there. And so he starts trying to back out of it, and the front end starts coming up again and <laughs> coming up and over. Yeah. We're like, oh, yeah. all right, Lee, hold on. I'm going to come out there yeah. and see what's both, going on. And the both funny directions. Thing, that's supposed to be the easy way, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's supposed to be pretty much a graded road at that point. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know well, if there was, there was a big a graded road. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was a big uh, ditch uh, on Big, big what? Need to stay out of the ditch. Ditch? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, I put my lockers in, so but that, that, was, that yeah. helped. How far How far did we scoot you over, though? Like, we just moved your rig over to the passenger side a little bit. How far did you think we moved you over, and how did that feel? Mm. Uh, about eight inches. About eight inches. And did it... <laughs> <laughs> Is this what happens on Willie Wine and Whiskey? Game no, no, I'm just no. waiting for Tyler to go. Uh, yeah, this is, this is how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> so how, I mean, just moving over just eight inches, how much more stable did the rig get? Oh, that was, that was all I needed. Now you got the laugh track on there. Oh, it's it's the orange one. button. All right. So how much more stable is the rig? Oh, it was, it was uh, night and day. Night and night day. Night. Tyler, Tyler's so, yeah, getting just, at some point here. Yeah. yeah, so yeah. it's, you know, just that minimal of a change is all it takes sometimes. And that's yeah, a game of inches. That's what the game's all about. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Got to be on the right track. And I wasn't The more it. you know. Yeah. Thanks, Tyler. Anytime, guys. 
I'm glad I contribute to this oncoming shit show. <laughs> Train wreck. So then we met, we met uh, Nate and James. Uh, that's right. The white, uh, what was that, TJ? YJ, baby. Oh, was, YJ. Was, oh that's right. It had square headlights, a Barbie, Barbie Jeep. Jeep. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. And then they hopped out and came immediately over and started Yeah, the one guy. The, <laughs> the one guy goes, oh, I got a Toyota. I'm like, oh, I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> we can't be friends. And you didn't. No. You didn't talk I didn't, to I, didn't, I, didn't. <laughs> I just totally went over and talked. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you guys went over and you, you turned into Toyota talk real quick. So yeah, I was like, did. okay, we're done. But oh, Chris, man, I think Chris and uh, and the the Barbie Jeep you just hugged it out though, right? Yeah, a little were, bit. They had a yeah. moment. Yeah, it was but, cute. You know, he he we he was over at McCrazy later on, and we talked for a bit. And he's like, "Hey, you have the six cylinder?" And I said, "Yep." He's like, "I've only got the four. Oh, like, yeah, oh. you got to get the six cylinder, dude. Yeah. So four point oh. I mean, I, I it's just way better. I mean, if you get bigger tires and it gives you flexibility with the torque and, and more torque, more power. Yeah. More power. Always good. If it's available, get more power. Yeah. Just get more levers in there. Well, sometimes. That's all you need. I got plenty of levers. You need at least like two more. I got mad skills. Ooh. Okay. I like to mm. cra- I like to crash mm. my tie rod into rocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beat your rod on the rocks. <laughs> so uh, then I, I took over the lead and we went up uh, went up the hill and then uh, turned down McCray. So yes. we, we skirted along the uh, the hillside there and then uh, dropped into McCrazy. That's right. And that's where the uh, not one, not two, but like thirty some odd Cal Poly <laughs> students were there. Yeah, that's a, it, it was in, a big in, group. Co- in costumes. Yeah, and then they had costumes. That mm-hmm. was freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. I saw the Pope. The Pope with the, there was a Pope costume. There was, was there a an pregnant initiation nun. going so, on? I don't know. Did there you a, did you realize that the Pope and the pregnant nun had planned to be together that whole day? I had, they were, I had no idea. Not uh, even until they took a photo with you. No, that was <laughs> <didn't know. laughs> so one guy. So the one guy knew uh, knew Kobe, Georgia yeah. boy. He's is like related, yeah, related family, step or something or other. Yeah, step mm. something. Anyways, um, yeah. So that that was cool. Um, and then, uh, yeah, there was Fred Flintstone. Uh, mm-hmm. There was some construction workers. I mean, Mario, a lot of construction. But yeah, uh, <laughs> then there was some uh, some furry uh, furry things. Or is there a NASCAR girl? Oh. A NASCAR girl. So uh, yeah, so after the photo opportunity with the, uh, it was actually before the photo opportunity. We got to go down. We walked down the trail because there were still more uh, vehicles coming up from the Cal Poly polygoats. Oh yeah. They were and playing uh, around at the, the, the yeah down and, the hill there and Matt who knows Kobe uh, had this uh, four door would you say it was Sahara so it it's like a JK, JK Sahara yeah sports nice kind of nice rig yeah, it was pretty. no lockers yeah Definitely no lockers pretty. but he was in a little predicament there yes, and up against was. some uh, concrete um, uh, barriers that are um, were there for erosion. Not friendly for doors. Not friendly for doors. <laughs> uh, rock. No. Thank God for rocker guards. That was keeping them off that. But uh, yeah, that was getting a little dicey. And I just I kept my mouth shut because there was a lot of chiefs in the Indian uh, in the kitchen there. Oh, so wow. I, a lot of chefs in the kitchen. Um, so I was just like, okay, you know, if it gets really bad, then I'll say something. But um, uh, anyway, so we we watched that go down a little bit, and then yeah, the Pope was over there uh, uh, observing the whole whole thing <laughs> across the way. <laughs> that was awesome. Was yep. Out. Fred, Fred was helping. Out. Fred, Fred, Fred was Fred guiding. Yeah. Yep. Um, so hey, abba dabba doo. Yeah. <laughs> Wilma. <laughs> <laughs> so then we watched. Uh, what was that? Third gen forerunner come up. Well, yeah. first was the first gen forerunner with two wheel drive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. right. <laughs> he had something going on with the driver's front uh, tire there. The hub wasn't locking or something. He had so the hub. The hub something. wasn't locking, and then he wired his uh, locker reverse. So he thought he had his locker on, but he had it off. Ah, okay. And so he was in two wheel drive for a while. Yeah, because and then we told him that he was only in two wheel drive. And so it. he turned, he quote unquote turned off his locker, and then and he had three wheel drive. It, then he had three wheel drive and <laughs> yeah. was able to wheel up. So that yeah. was pretty good. Well, yeah, you kinda, were all proud. You're like, oh, Toyota could do it in three wheels. He, yep. sent, he really <laughs> sent it. He just used all of his torques. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, then was the third gen. Yeah, that one was entertaining. Whoa, <laughs> and that was a nice rig. I mean, these oh. were like, these are like. Nice you rings. said as he came coming up, you're like, "All right, let's see who's coming up next." And you're like, 
Oh, that's way too nice yeah, to be way out too here. Nice to go here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I don't. He was coming up, and then I, did he hit reverse? Because it was an automatic, and that thing went backwards faster than it went forward. Oh, yeah, it, it was, that was the hand that's, of God. That could have ended. A what? Well. That was the hand of God. Oh, I, it was. <laughs> like, that's what somebody said. It was like, no, you're not doing we, this. You we were not talking pass. about that, and I, I personally think he hit the he gas hit, instead of the brake. He had to. He yeah. had to because um, it, 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 it moved. It jumped. It it was like you were on a steep hill and then hit the clutch in. That's why I'm like, is that what? I thought it was an automatic. Was, was that stick? That but it did. You're right. It was under acceleration. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that was so scary. that could have. And then he turned and I've, I've it, seen it turned as he was going backwards. Yeah. So he ended up like completely sideways on the hill. I don't know how he didn't roll. And he high side that rolled. hill. Yeah, yeah, it could have rolled super easy. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. So yeah, yeah and that, he was he was all worked up about his door. Oh yeah. At that point, I was like, man, that could have been a lot worse yeah, than your door, buddy. Short. And we're yelling at him to put his seatbelt on. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, right. he didn't even oh, have a seatbelt on. No, that, that was good. good. You, guys, you guys he were took good it off. to say that. Yeah. When he scratched his door and he was like on a very odd angle, he wanted to take, he took his seatbelt off so he could hop out to go look at the rig. Mm-hmm. And then every he decided to back off. Yeah. And he backed out and that's when he accelerated backwards. And then he was going to line up again and we're yelling at him, put your seatbelt yeah, on. Yeah. Put the seatbelt on. That's good. Oh, yeah, that God. was that was good. Yeah, always put the seatbelt on. We've seen too much shit on the trail where just exactly. even if you're moving your rig, we had that one guy at Trek a couple years ago just moving his rig and rolled over and yep. unfortunately died. He's not with us anymore. No, no. that's that's insane. So yeah, uh, there was we, when we were up on the Rubicon a couple weeks ago yeah. for October uh, up at the top of Whale Bones. Uh-huh. Uh, when it started getting critical, we were like, we need to get a Oh, yeah, yeah. The group of Jeeps in front of us that you had been talking to. Yes. Um, they had uh, their Oh, their that daughter, one younger gal. Kid, yeah, yeah. Uh, was about to drive and go down whale bones and she didn't yep. have her seatbelt on. I was like, hey, hey. As she was going by, I was like, hey, put your seatbelt you on. That. I was like, good. you don't want to be going down this obstacle right now yeah. in these conditions yeah. without a seatbelt. Yeah. No, that was smart. And she kind of like rolled her eyes at me and I was like, okay, whatever. And then whatever. you told so, her dad. And so I just was like waving at the dad <laughs> without yelling it out. I was yeah. like waving at him. I was like, seatbelt and he, yeah. he kind of looked at me he was like what and i was like seatbelt he goes got it got he made it. her put her seatbelt i was like good that was smart yeah you're like the seatbelt police that's yeah. good I've, well it sucks to have to be no able to i do know that, right i, I don't know. i don't want to have to take the time to call a helicopter no, you're right in, okay you're right i think it's in the family it's, <laughs> the, it's, it's the safety seat family <laughs> it is. It's good. Yeah. right no, it's, <laughs> <laughs> we, oh, really. you know we joke around but you know people get so complacent off road because you're not going fast you know you're i mean you, you know most people wouldn't think twice about belting up on the street but off road you're like oh no i'm not going that fast I'm it's annoying in and out of the rig. yeah i'm getting in and out oh, i but, put my uh, seatbelt i just put my jeep on the trailer i mean mm-hmm. yeah you, you never know mm-hmm. yeah you never know yeah. yeah the consequences are dire yeah, yeah it's not good so that that was a good uh, teaching moment there good good stuff um, I, I don't know i wasn't trying to well no those. no but it was <laughs> it was a good it was a good you know good good deal so um and then uh, anyway so we walked back over to our rigs and uh and then um kind of re- we were handing out swag so That's we got right. some some all the swag all the swag was coming out koozies and uh and stickers, stickers and uh yeah it's funny everybody as soon as we came up kind of over the hill and we crested the hill everybody just like a big magnet went straight to the buggy Mm. and it was like nobody else mattered like all the rest of us were just you know farts in the wind someone's like hey that's a cool yj but check out that buggy (laughs) (laughs) i don't think anybody said that was a cool yj no they did It totally did, Jimmy. Yeah. Was it the other white LJ or YJ been. that wasn't? Might have been. In I might have slipped him okay. five bucks yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying it's a cool YJ. Just say it really Where's loud. Barbie? Yeah. Um, <laughs> where's Ken? Because the person driving. Oh, I'm Ken. God damn it. <laughs> No, oh, yeah, it was pretty funny watching everybody uh, just come up and just gather around the buggy. Everybody's asking questions. Yeah. And soon enough, sure as hell, I was like, it's only a matter of time before this question comes out. And somebody goes, can I get a ride? That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And as soon as he said yes, I immediately like snapped to you. And you're like, yeah, no problem. I was like, all right, we're here all day now. Yeah, here we <laughs> go. Pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Well, I was going to go play around him at Crazy, but I didn't know it was going to have paparazzi around me. It was, it was kind of intimidating. They're your people. Uh-huh. Yeah, Polly mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Cal Polly. 
Because you're, um, you're a poly alum. I am. Yeah. Alum. I didn't. I did not mention when I graduated to any of them. I said <laughs> I did say that I probably you were born after I graduated from. Their internal calendars do not <laughs> go back that yeah. far. With your gray hair. Yeah, with the gray hair, yeah. they gave it away. Yeah, like, absolutely. But I was I was cool. Cal Poly was you were then? you were you were yeah. the the life of the party. <laughs> you gave inspiration <laughs> to those did. young kids to be like, for life. And, and, yeah, like, yeah. I can and they're like, Although, they're all like my money and when spend I'm all my money. fifteen years older, I'm going to be wheeling just like him. Yeah. <laughs> Although I don't know if anybody was as happy today. If I saw any face happier than the lady coming up McCrazy in her Subaru. Oh, what was that? All that about? lady was ecstatic. She, I was like, that's what it's all. About. I looked down and saw. <laughs> yeah, so she was just out on a Sunday drive, Saturday yeah. drive. Or she what? was with the Land Rover and the Mercedes oh, okay. behind her. So somebody had to lead the Land Rover. Exactly. I see. Is that what it was? <laughs> it was a Subaru. Yeah, it was a Subaru. Subaru. That's Subaru. Oh, uh, yeah. Cross track. Yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Let me show you the way. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, so yeah. Thing. So I had a passenger, and uh, oh, go ahead, Chris. No, it just was one in a kind things. of one things for sure. You're always going to see a wide range of vehicles at mm-hmm. Oh vehicles, yeah, mm-hmm. whether it's a Subaru or a maxed out buggy like Jason's, but there's everything in between. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so we were at the very top of McCrazy for those of you that are familiar with the park and, uh, it's got that, what I call the driveway. It's a steep ass concrete block hill. You can't walk on it. You can't, no, no, you wouldn't be able to walk up that. It's no. steep. I don't know what the, I tried. I slipped. I want to put a, <laughs> I want to put a, uh, a, a gauge on there to see what degree that is. Oh, that would have been fun. Don't you yeah. have one of those in your, in your you, cruiser? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Yeah, <laughs> it only goes up to like fifteen, though. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. No. So I, I, I mean, that thing's got to be fifty. It's over forty-five. Yeah, it's over what? forty-five for yeah. sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, fifty-five. It's steep it's, as hell. Yeah, it might be sixty. I'm know. gonna go with sixty. Chuck, final answer. All right. Oh. Um, lock that in. Thirty-two. Thirty? No. <laughs> I'm gonna go with thirty-three point three. I'm gonna say forty-four. Nice. Wow, One dollar. Okay. Here we go. We got one dollar. One dollar. Any listeners, if you actually know the, the angle of the dangle on that thing, let us know. So what did they get? Nothing. Oh, a crisp high five. We That's could right. call. We could call Hollister and find out. Mm. Yeah. Some, some I will say though, it was after you went down, took the guy all the way down to the bottom, and then came all the way back up. It was impressive watching you work that oh that hill that hill yeah. yeah because i've only seen videos of it i've never been there right oh. so seeing videos i just watch people spin out and the only way i've seen people get up it is just launch Hammer. their rig yeah. as hard as they can yeah and it was really impressive to watch you get up without launching yeah well there's so. the stickies it's a sticky life right and that's that's kind of like watching you work at heating up the tires as the first part of this endeavor. Yeah. And then sit there and work the hill after the tires right. were heated up. Well, uh, I had to dry them off first because uh, there yeah. was that water at the bottom, and that yep. was a new challenge. Uh, not not necessarily muddy, but it, they were wet. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so a little slimy. And then once once they started heating up, then it was like, okay, then, mm-hmm. then, you, then they get grippy. And then that's when I was just working a little bit to see if they were going to bite. Mm-hmm. And I could just crawl up, and it did. And I was like, that's pretty freaking cool. It was, it was pretty cool to watch the methodicalness yes. of that yes. play out. But that's yeah. the way I like to wheel. I'm very, I'm very calculated, and, mm-hmm. and you know, it's, it's a technical I'm not just hammer and go, but I can if I need to. Yeah. But I, I don't, you know, I, I like to find the, if I could, the starting on that hill in the middle and just biting there and going. That, that was, was cool. pretty cool. Mm-hmm. It was definitely fun to watch. And I know the water, the ballast didn't, didn't hurt. No, and, and the water worked awesome. That yeah. was the first time I've had the buggy out there with the water in the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then I did the suck down winch in the front. Mm-hmm. So it, it, it felt super comfortable inside. I mean, like nothing compared to sand hollow stuff that we were climbing <laughs> up walls and stuff yeah. so i was like you know after doing sand hollow and then then you know what month and a half later going out here to hollister it's like okay. does that worry you at all it getting does. used it to should. getting used to me. how things feel out of sand no. hollow and then coming up to the sierras and it, you're like eh, this will be fine no, so that was that was, <laughs> <laughs> I that can was do this no problem yeah. well that was interesting going from from sand hollow to the jeep on the rubicon oh, in yeah. wet conditions so mm-hmm. that was a whole you know with dot tires that was a yeah. whole thing that we talked about but it was it was yeah that's you know that forced you to pick a line mm-hmm. absolutely so that's like i was telling so you, you went know, from like one extreme to the other exactly yeah, yeah exactly mm-hmm. you um, came down that chute and i remember it's telling tyler that that was uneventful yeah, yeah. Like, it was Going just down it. controlled, easy. It didn't even no sk- problem. skid too much, did it? Uh, no, I didn't. Really. You're just yeah. like rolling down a yeah. trail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I was ready to hit the throttle if it was going to get come over, but that's the nice thing that that rig is so balanced now. I'm really, mm-hmm. really happy with how it performs. And so, yeah, that the first kid that was right with me, Nick, um, you know, and I'm like, okay, hold on, don't grab on the outside at all. And everything. did he get white knuckled going down that? No, I don't think so. Yeah. He was, he was. De- I wasn't paying attention to him, but he didn't didn't scream or anything. <laughs> And then, well, that was one of your prerequisites. Right. Like I, in that's the car. I did say, don't <laughs> scream. Don't scream like a little girl. <laughs> don't grab the steering wheel. Yeah. Do not grab the steering wheel. Yeah. So, um, and then I, you know, you get down, and then it's pretty gnarly little climb out of there on those mm-hmm. uh, the rocks, concrete boulders, blocks, rocks. Yeah, they got everything there. And then, uh, then went to the next obstacle, and that's like nothing. That's a couple metal pipes and rocks. Okay. And then it went into the gunite section, and that was, that's kind of, you know, pretty gnarly and i was like oh is that the one with the steep drop off and uh it wasn't it's, so i was like uh, okay i'm like oh this one isn't the steep hill so then i was like okay we can go this way on this one but then the next gun i won that's the gnarly one yeah that's the one yeah. that has the the it's got like steep a hill. five six foot yeah drop off ledge there oh yeah it's a ramp thing i don't yeah. know what did you call it yeah and then and then the wall be- the beginning <laughs> of it <laughs> The beginning, and that's one of my favorite obstacles at the beginning. That's where I dented the dash in the CJ that's that right. one, one year uh, before the clinic. Um, you but, dented your dash? Yeah, my dash in the CJ. It went How's right into happen? the gun. Yeah, how does that happen? It, it, I know. It's, it's, it takes talent. It takes a lot of talent. <laughs> you dent your dash. That's my that's my most proud uh, yeah, mark on that. Very proud what? of it. Dented the, CJ. the dash. A rock? Uh, rock. <laughs> From the, outside rock, of the from the outside of the vehicle came in and dented the dash. Yeah. Oh, so what? you're saying <laughs> you were? Did you flop? No. No. He was just no. he was leaning. No. I, I think was leaning the, over. The, the, the I was there. So, so, like like so the rock held you up. <laughs> so they fold these. Yeah, away. kind of. <laughs> it was in between the cage, the cage and the dash. There's like two and a half, three inches. I don't know. And it, it was right in between. There. It was like perfect. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. why I'm proud of that one. Because I could never do that again. Tin yeah, can. I tried. Oh. I had an event Hold somewhat similar where on the Rubicon I was leaning over and I got I was, people were yelling at me, keep my hands in the mm-hmm. vehicle. I'm like, well, keep the rock out of my mm. vehicle. <laughs> right. And I'm like seat belted in and the rock's almost hitting me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, no, I'm in the vehicle still. <laughs> the rock's in the here. Rock is in yeah, here. the rock is inside <laughs> the rig. The rock is oh, misbehaving. Yeah. yeah, it it's it, yeah, this stuff happens off road and uh, you know, we gotta get you gotta be aware of it. Yeah. Um, what did you do over there? I just spilled a little he's water. He's sober and he's still <laughs> sober and I'm spilling. So, anyways, um, no more water. No yeah, more water. Cut, cut me off on water. No more cranberry. <laughs> um, so yeah, then then so I went around and started climbing up that, and then you get super flexed out in that. That's a gnarly section in, yeah. in the Jeep. Mm-hmm. It's really gnarly, and then in the buggy, it's gnarly. And uh, but it's a good good you know tire placement get through and i got through there pretty good but until the very end where i um got hung up on a rock and damn near turtled the thing um, trying to get in position to climb that hill Uh, and it's a wall i've seen i've Mm -hmm. seen several rigs flip there and roll over um so and i had never done it before jim says i did i never done it in the buggy before i've never and i definitely haven't done it in the cj if you hit it fast enough can you do a backflip like the monster (laughs) yeah i probably (laughs) steep enough to Maybe, maybe Jim just dreams of you. I think night. he does, yeah. 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 Maybe. So, so I'm like, okay, and uh, suck down the winch. And uh, I guess the first time I had it, everybody's saying I had it, but I, I didn't feel like it in the driver's seat. Because you have to, it, it crests over where it hits. You have to literally skid off of the, the skid plate on the bottom uh, uh-huh. to get the rear wheels to catch mm-hmm. to take you over. Otherwise, you just turtle on this thing. And that's what it felt like it was doing to me the first time, hmm. but I guess not. But anyways, made it up that and back up and then... Uh, Nick got out, and then another Nick came in. Another Nick I, got, I go, oh, okay, who's next? And I was saying, like, who wants to go try this in their yeah. rig, you know? He goes, I'll ride with you. And I'm like, oh, okay, oh. Well, let's go back up. We got one more <laughs> obstacle to do. Oh, we got video here. Got video. Oh, there you See, go. See, that was, you had that right there. Yeah, oh, that one. I yes. thought you were talking about, okay, you're right. I did have that. You were about I, four inches okay, from getting your so, front tires on top. Okay, so you're talking about the driveway at the end, what I call yeah, the driveway yeah. at the very end of McCrazy. Yes, mm-hmm. I did have that, and I did let off on purpose. Yeah. That was, that was I was playing. Okay. I was playing. It felt gotcha. so good. I'm like, okay, we're good. I was going to say, because you were, you were that close, but then to watch you afterwards, yeah, and then methodically to work, it. Yeah. work it afterwards, so, and knowing yeah. what you were doing from yeah, the sidelines 
that was impressive. Okay, so that, that was, cool. was the one that that you're referring to because yes. I was thinking the the obstacle four obstacles before that I was just describing where I did gotcha. the dash on the CJ and uh-huh. then you got that wall mm-hmm. that you're saying you could do a backflick of you had a monster <laughs> truck. Yeah, so that's the one I thought you know that first time gotcha. I was close, okay. but I didn't have enough momentum to get the rear tires up on the gun. Yeah, no, while traction. you were down. Yeah, you were, you were there. We were up talking Toyotas with uh, the other guys. So. Got it, got it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, one time, I mean, I was concentrating on my line. Jim was guiding a little bit. He was just watching to make sure I didn't do anything too stupid. Um, but I looked out, and there was like 20 cameras and phones like facing. Uh-huh. I was like, okay, just concentrate on the trail again. <laughs> I don't want to become a, a YouTube yeah, <laughs> deal. Um, Can you imagine what they're going to say? I don't know. They're like, this old alumni. Yeah, this is the <laughs> oldest alumni. This well, yeah, is the well, oldest no, alumni. Wouldn't... I think this is the last one. He's the oldest one that's ever <laughs> still alive. <laughs> and he came down in this buggy and it showed everybody up. Yeah. The old wise one came out of the woods. He came from the top of the mountain. Yeah. You, my children, will one day. <laughs> well, it was funny because uh, they were asking, Jesus. they're like, no, did you build this? And I'm like, no, man, buy it. I said, I could not build this for, for the amount of money I paid for mm-hmm. this. There's no way, a fraction of the price of yeah. what I got. I said, I've done a lot of work to it, but I said, you know, the suspension alone and, and everything, it would have cost me uh, more to build this thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that I said, that's the takeaway from this. Go out and buy something like this, yeah. you know? So now right. Cal Poly like, money. Where? <laughs> it's Cal Poly money now. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah right. exactly. Student money. So that's all these kids are like taking their student <laughs> well, There's some nice there, rigs, buggy, man. Yeah, 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 I didn't nice have house. rigs like that when I was Isn't going that what everyone uses their FAFSA for? Yes. They did. They had nice rigs. And they actually... Knew a lot of them knew what yeah, they were talking they did. about. They it was it was fun talking, talking with them about them. stuff. Yeah. yeah, there was yeah they knew the, a lot more than I knew at that age. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, for sure. there mm-hmm. exactly there there was some uh, people were asking and pointing out stuff out on the buggy, and I'm like, oh okay, you know what you're talking about. Well, they're mechanical engineering students. Oh, and right. One one of the this one dude I was talking to, he's from the Fresno area, and he's he's in the ag program. He's his parents own farms, or they yeah uh, farmers, and. Uh, He's like, yeah, I'm ag science, and this is what we do. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, they weld. They, oh you know, yeah, his brother knows how to weld. That the dad owns part of their business is, to, is fence building and stuff. So, mm. you know, fabrication and sure. welding is all part of being a, being a farmer now. Yeah. Even yeah, you sit in front of a computer and do spreadsheets and all that shit. But but it's all hands on too. Oh yeah. I mean, so. At the end of the day, you got to make work with what resources you have, mm-hmm. and that's farming. Like that's exactly, <laughs> yeah. and, and and that's it translates into off roading mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. You know, whether you're building a combine or repairing a combine or a fence or, or welding uh, trusses onto an axle. Yeah. 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 yeah they, they were. There was a couple guys that clearly were engineers that were looking and they're like, man, that thing's strong there and this, and you know, mm-hmm. so that was cool. It was, it was fun. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. It so, was a good, good group. Uh, very, they were a fun group of people. Very respectful. Yeah. They were yeah. obviously having a good time, and and uh, you know there was it was really cool. That was a big group. Mm-hmm. Cal Poly, they were, yeah, they were organized. Forty, uh, forty, yeah, yeah, yeah forty is a good, yeah, good estimate. Yeah, yeah they, were and I, they were. And I asked, I asked, I don't know if it was, I think it was Secretary Lauren, and I go, how many people in your club? And she goes thirty, and I go, well, you got more than that here. Now. <laughs> yeah, right. But I guess you know, with COVID last year, they didn't get to meet because yeah. they are an official uh, club of Cal Poly, so they had all these rules they had to follow. Yeah. Oh, and you know this. Uh, so um, people came out of the woodwork this year, which is great to see. Yeah, I asked one dude, and he said that he thinks there's about sixty in the club. Wow, yeah. So, so huh? I mean, but I said, do they all have raises? Like, no, oh, there's a lot of people to write that right. And, but uh, it, you know, it's but like anything. Great. You know, like you go to college and you have ski club, and a lot of people aren't avid skiers. They mm-hmm. just they, they they hit the bunny trails. But of course, then there's the more aggressive skiers. And it, it's just everybody, yeah, but unlike everybody unlike, intermingles, you know. But skiing, you got to ski to be out there. Like this, you could hop in somebody's rig and mm-hmm. see True. what other rigs do, and like, oh, you know, and then you could kind of form an opinion of sure. what you want. And you're like, sure. oh, I. Definitely, Jeeps are where it's I at, gotta, so that's where yeah, I'm going Definitely, go. oh, yeah. You know, Toyota 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 just Which suck. vehicles made it up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's <laughs> that club? <laughs> well, that we saw. Uh-huh. That first gen. Uh-huh. First gen forerunner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> anyway, so that, was, that was fun. We had a good time today. We went mm-hmm. and played down at Hollister Hills. We... Uh, I know I, Jim, Big Jim, and I went back to where we had our trailers, and I was getting a little hungry, so I wanted to eat, and he did too. So you guys played for a little while longer. Mm-hmm. So yeah. we left there, uh, said our bid our adieu, 
And uh, so they want to they want to do a podcast. So when we go down and talk to Rod nice. Hammers and, and Ultra Four Jones, we got to do a Polygos <laughs> podcast. Holy shit, that'll be crazy. That'll be just. Do you guys have Do you guys have forty microphones? I don't know. Now? We're going to figure it out. We're just going to use the area <laughs> mic. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one big area mic in the middle of the room. That'll be. Oh my god, that would be great audio there. <laughs> we'll let you edit that one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just send it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you guys are listening, it was great meeting you, and yeah, uh, for look sure. forward to wheel in uh, in the future they're going to be at hammers uh yeah, some of them nice. are going to be at hammers uh, of course they're doing some pismo stuff uh, they're going down to johnson valley uh over new years oh good so they got they got some uh full calendar coming up so cool. do they ever make it up to the sierras um up and up to the the sacramento sierras i, I don't know yeah because they're going to fresno area yeah. for snow run mm-hmm. um so shaver yeah yeah, but, Shaver's yeah. a great wheeling. I mean, you got all the series you want out yeah, of Shaver you know. Lake for those guys. So you know that. Area. I was curious if they come ever ever get up to. Ruby I'm, I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we'll have to check it out. Mm-hmm. See. Well, hopefully Fun we group. all stay in contact. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. So then we went out and uh, went over towards Sycamore Camp, that mm-hmm. side of the park. And uh, I still I, never figured out why is it called Sycamore. I don't know. There's not one Sycamore <laughs> uh, tree there. I don't get it. Maybe they're all dead now. Well, yeah. maybe there was, yeah, one big sycamore tree. Maybe. There was, there are sycamore trees at the park, but I don't know, not in that camp. It's all oaks. Yeah. No, it's Should all be oaks, called right? oak, oak camp. Oak camp. <laughs> poison oak camp. Ooh, poison. Ooh, poison oak Jeez. camp. Yeah. 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 Um, so anyways, uh, we went up and uh, to the water tower up there, which is a new metal water tower now. Remember oh. when that thing used to be old, dilapidated wooden thing? Yeah. Yeah. That was way back when uh-huh. we started wheeling oh, there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you remember no. that? Those uh-huh. good old yeah. days? No. Um, so then, like early uh, 80s? It was <laughs> mid eighties, <Wow. 80s. laughs> before metal. My time too, but uh, you know I've only had a jeep for about fifteen years. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, but then we hit Chaparral Trail, which is just a fun, fun yeah. trail that that skirts around that that yeah. side of the the mountain, and, uh, and then pop back back out to uh, Sycamore Camp there, and then uh, worked our way over to. Um, the new obstacle course that we call it. Yep. And so went in there and then immediately there was like water, mud, water, mud, water, mud. I'm like, Ooh, this is not good. Tiptoe. Hollister mud is the worst thing on the face of this earth. I hate mud. Woody. Yeah. This is like way, this is like the worst mud. If he had a mud category of what's the worst, I would say Hollister is worse. It has, um, it's, it's acidic. And if it sits on your paint, you know, too long, it will eat through the clear Mm. coat. Where, where's that? I wonder where that acid comes from. I don't know, but it will eat mm. through clear coat, and it's it's done it on my Jeep. I've got spots to prove it, but uh, yeah. And then so I'm like, okay, just tiptoe through the water and the mud, and then uh, we were playing around on some obstacles, and then one ranger goes by light and siren. And second ranger goes by light and sirens. I want a motorcycle. Three and four motorcycle goes by, goes by light yeah. and sirens, and I'm like, okay, this is not good. And they're heading towards Truck Hill. This is really not good. Yeah. What is Truck Hill? Truck Hill is a ridiculously steep, ridiculously long. So, it, how many? How long is Truck Hill? It's probably two hundred yards, so six hundred feet. I was, gonna, that I was, was exactly, five to six hundred. Yeah, wow, I'd say I five to six hundred feet long, yeah, that's, that's and it's str- almost straight up. I don't know what the elevation gain is, or the the. the but it's. Do you think it's feet? steeper than the driveway? Thirty-two. <laughs> I would know. It's, <laughs> it's definitely in the 40s, somewhere mm-hmm. in the 40s, I would say, at points. Yeah. Um, definitely at the top, it gets really steep. There's uh, a couple of big you... ruts up yeah, there, Yeah, and then too. the ruts, it and gets washed turn. out and There's ruts. a turn at the top, too. Well, yeah, you kind of get up, up, and then you turn left. Right. And uh, I've been up in my F-150 a couple times, but that was graded. So it's steep. But, and but, Jimmy's, but Jimmy's been up it backwards. Just yeah, yeah no, and, I know. I've, I've seen. <laughs> wow. I've seen. You know, I've seen all kinds of different rigs on it, and I've seen rolled rigs there all, a bunch of I, times. I was telling Tyler as we were coming around the top side of that. Um, when we were leaving the quarry, heading to um, this is like crazy it's, at the er- beginning of the day, Jimmy yeah. was talking about it. Yeah, and I said probably a truck rolls here every week, and I was oh, like, well, no. maybe not every week, but you yeah. Know. yeah. And then we, so we we ambulance chased a little bit. Yeah. So I asked you guys, I go, you want to be <laughs> ambulance chases? But then I I thought, you know, because the the Rangers don't do recovery on vehicles out there, so mm-hmm. we've done several. I can't tell you how many rigs I've uprighted out there, or pulled out of bushes, or anything. I mean, we've t- a ton. Um, and they don't do that. So it's like, hey, if somebody needs help, we'll get you back on the mm-hmm. trail or we'll, you know, I've dragged drug people down to the park entrance or, or Cienega Road mm-hmm. um, because that's where a tow truck will pick you up. They won't they come won't, into the park and pick in. you up. Right. Right. Now there is a yeah. service that will do that and you pay for it, right? So 
Um, anyways, so I'm like, okay, well, we should go go see if they need any assistance. And then rolled up on the scene, and it was a uh, side by side golf cart. Yep. Um, and uh, and the, obviously the Rangers were there before us, and you know there was no golf cart was at the bottom of the hill it was at the bottom of the hill and there was a um, couple doors about three quarters of the yeah, way up the hill. so then you it's look up the hill and you see the the, the yeah, doors yeah. And, and stuff that scattered on, oh my god i'm like oh my god they rolled down almost like, entire truck hill i mean like yeah six, three four seven, seven. Yeah. It, was, it was more than three quarters Gee, it was but a lot it yeah. was crazy and so um you know, I guess the guy that was driving, I'm assuming, was talking to one of the rangers, and he seemed fine. Uh, he was standing up. He was standing up, and yeah. then there was a lady sitting down, and there was another lady behind her holding her, her head. I don't know why she wasn't laying down, and then they got the backboard out mm-hmm. for her, but um, then the ambulance came. So that's good, but uh, wasn't, you know, didn't look too serious at the time, but definitely some uh, some sore muscles for sure, if oh. nothing else. But uh, one witness was saying that they... Uh, they drove up and the the front end got light and it came over backwards, which yep. is like the scariest and then, thing. And then they barrel rolled from and there then all the way down. down. And they <laughs> then they were saying that they were coming out of the rig. Well, yeah. obviously the doors came off. So um, and then coming out of the rig. So uh, thank God they had their harnesses on, but uh, mm-hmm. they they obviously weren't keeping them in there, so they oh, weren't boy. tight or who yeah. knows what's going on. But uh, at least there was not. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Let's put it that way. Could oh, have yeah. been a to, lot yeah. freaking worse to tumble five. 400, 500 feet yeah. down that hill, I would expect there to be a death. Yeah. Like, it, and to see both those people kind of up, yeah, like that like one guy up, up, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They're shooken up rather than seriously injured. Yeah. That's, I'm and, still well, impressed. Like, I'm, and, and their rig looked, their rig season, looked okay. The cage, yeah. yeah, it didn't look shifted or anything. I didn't get super close, let the Rangers yeah. do their thing and stuff, <laughs> but uh, I, I, it gives it, a testament to. Uh, yeah, stout mm-hmm. this. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, they weren't on like a quad or, or oh, not like yeah. a three. Oh my gosh, like no. That. Yeah, well, or even Ooh. just a, a rig without a, a you know a, a truck or anything without mm-hmm. a roll bar yeah. without mm-hmm. a roll no, cage. No, that no. would have been a whole different story. Exactly. Yep. But so. back to our original comment: wear your seatbelts. Yeah, <laughs> seat and make sure yeah. they're tight. Yeah. You know, because uh, I know that wasn't in their plan today was to to roll over backwards down a hill. No. So after that, we said, all right, let's head back to camp. We had a great day. It was getting close to 2 o'clock. There you go. The more you know. Thank you, Christopher. So, uh, so yeah, headed back to uh, meet up with uh, Chris and uh, Jimmy there. Yep. And uh, you guys were all just relaxed and chilling and made friends down there. And, That's right. Uh, yeah, we loaded up our rigs, aired up, and uh, headed back headed here, back here to, uh, to record this podcast. So. Did I miss anything? It was a great no, day. That's a weather pretty, was awesome. Yeah. Oh, weather was fantastic. We didn't have to pull out any wrenches. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Lee had a little mechanical No wrenches there. needed. You changed the air in one tire. Yeah, yeah. yeah exchanged. Yeah, you exchanged. exchanged the air. I wanted inland air. Inland air, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Got it. So that, that helped out. Yeah, a little tire burp. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's tire get burp. Prepared for it. Perfect. Mm-hmm. But yeah. other than that, we didn't have to pull out any... Uh, any wrenches, which is always a good day, Wheeler. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. No wrenches, no first aid kit. No welders. No welders. Yeah. yeah. Although that's kind of a bummer sometimes, too. A little too. disappointed on <laughs> <laughs> There was a guy who wanted some welding. Really? Yeah. I never heard of him. He was the kid that was talking about, somebody's like, we could weld it up right now or something. What was that? Oh. I don't remember. We didn't have a welder. Did they have I a know welder? That, I know that we talked to one guy about pulling his hub apart. I was like, we can pull oh, that yeah. apart in five minutes. He did. And he ended up pulling and it, he ended it up, apart. Yeah, he ended up pulling it apart, and he goes, yeah, the hub gear was just stuck, so I just kind of shoved it in, oh, and it works great perfect. now. See? <laughs> no. Easy fix. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Cal Poly Ingenuity right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> See? Well, what other reason are we here for? To Presents. drink. I don't know. To yeah, steal Lorenzo. Presents. I mean, ha- to, 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 <laughs> uh, to, to get Lorenzo back from the room. Lorenzo's Wonderful. right here, and do you do you notice he's how like he's eyeing you? I know, he yeah. Is. And you he's notice how he's moved away from Jimmy. He's uh, he's yeah. keeping yes. one eye on Jimmy, one eye on Tyler. Yep. See, mm-hmm. see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bites. Well, yeah, yeah, he, he bites. Yeah, he bites that early. Got to keep your head on a swivel there, Good. Lorenzo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We got your back, Lorenzo. So nice. Okay, you ready for the hundred? Hundred, hundred, hundred. I was thinking we should have got a buck fifty or lower, but uh, we're at hundred or lower. All my stuff's hundred and lower here. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, now this is cool. So, (laughs) I I gotta admit, Tyler inspired me to step up my search on this. Uh, From the Rubicon, you had your electric blanket. Oh yeah, the inverter, (laughs) and you know I have an electric blanket in my camper, and I'm. 
you know, plugged in like three times a year. That's it. Mm -hmm. And it does not work with my inverter because I don't have a pure sine wave inverter yep. in my camper. Mm -hmm. So it's just a blanket. It is a nice blanket. <laughs> with little wires in with it. With wires in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I got to figure this out. Okay, do I shit can my perfectly good inverter that I have, which works for charging all my stuff that I have to charge. That's the reason why I have it. Um, and get a new inverter and then plug in my existing uh, deal. No. So I did research and I found what is a great heating pad. It got, it's, a, it's a heating pad, so it goes on the mattress. So it's below, which oh. they say is way okay. more efficient yeah, yeah. Always. than it's on top. Below. Yep. yep, so it's always better below. And this is what truckers use. It's a uh, heated mattress pad, 12 volt. It's 36 by 60. Ooh. And it is uh, low amp draw. It's only 6.2 amps. Wow. On high. And uh, you just ate the goat testicles? <laughs> Yep. I love how that was just thrown in there right now. It's tasty. <laughs> um, but it's uh, uh, electro warmth. Oh, you're chewing on the mic. You're going to drive Tyler <laughs> nuts. I'm out of here. I'm done. <laughs> so it is a, a 12 volt heating pad. Okay. And it has rave reviews. Now, yet I have yet to try it. It's on order. Should be here in any day now. Mm. Now, when I first saw this on old Amazon, $90. Okay. Ooh, so I'm what? like, okay, it meets our, our deal. And I'm like, $90? Okay, for a twin. If, if it's it basically really, a twin. Really if it really, works, really works, it's okay. got five settings, mm -hmm. you know, and everybody's raving about it. So, you know, good old power of the internet search. So I'm like, hmm, let me check mm -hmm. this out. Through Electro Warmth itself, $77. Nice. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. Do, do, do. My, so are you going to use that just mainly in the lance? That's for the lance, take mainly, it just out? to warm up the bed before I get in. I wouldn't leave it on at night. Oh. Okay. Get, but just to warm up the bed on those really cold nights, I've got, uh, you know, ski trips coming up and uh, snowmobile and winter snow runs and stuff. And the adopter trails coming up. It's going to be like 32 below zero. Um, I, I want a just nice warm bed to jump into. So nice. I'm going for that. So I will admit work. that was that was a Game changer. So this would work. So back to Rubicon. Now, mm -hmm. you know, you got the Jackery, so you could plug it into that. Or if, you know, you got your rig parked right next to the tent, you could you could do a little extension to, mm -hmm. to your 12 volts. So mm -hmm. there you go. There's my. Yeah. yeah. So my big suggestion for that is if you're not living the Lance life and you're going to use a, you know, a heater peasant, blanket. A peasant tent. Wow. Yeah. A peasant tent. I can't uh -huh. imagine that. Then. <laughs> like. Make sure you you get one that does not have a timer on it. Right. Because waking up every 60 minutes or something to turn it back on, if you're you know, camping in the snow like that, is a pain in the ass. So that get one that stays the, on all night. That's the problem with the Jackery, though. Don't those shut off in like a couple hours or something you were saying? Mine, they mine were never in. did. Okay. Um, over at least overnight. Okay. Um, running on, if you have a draw, I don't know, if you have a draw on it, it uh -huh. doesn't. But if you don't have a draw or it's not oh, registering it enough off. a draw, then it'll shut ah, off. Okay. Right. So yeah. an electric blanket will pull enough amps to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is yeah, uh, yeah. 6.2 amps, so not too bad. Not bad. Yeah. 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 Get one without a timer. Yeah, See, this, this I, I liked timer mine with it. the timer on it. Oh, because I was able to kick it on when I went to bed, and then go to once I'm asleep. I don't. I'm like I don't. I don't. Nothing care. worse than <laughs> sleeping in bed, but, man. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, yeah. Worse. Yeah. I just used it because um, I had one at the Rubicon also, and I had a mattress. What? Style. Yeah, the mattress one. And um, we just use it to warm the bed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then once we jump in and we turn it off mm -hmm. because you know we got warm bodies warm uh -huh. in the bed. So I use it all. It's night. just to take the chill. Yeah, out of the yep. initial bed yep. to jump mm -hmm. in. Yep. All right. So yep. I use it all night, but with mm -hmm. a probably a lower temperature sleeping bag. Oh. Um, so I didn't have to carry the big heavy sleeping bag right. to keep oh. to keep weight okay. and um, you know space keep down, down for so, everything else. You can. So you could have more yes. feminine hygiene, more more, more pads, <laughs> more pads. Yeah. 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 You could just lay oh pads goodness. down on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that. I'll have to try that. Perfect. Lee's going to be so upset that he he's ever never, brought this he's up. He's never coming back. No, no, no. 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 We nice appreciate guys. you, Lee. Nice yeah. guys. Nice the guys. The women appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, so my next one, um, I'm going to go with a second four and a half inch grinder. What? Second. A second one. On trail? Uh, cordless or uh, one cordless ten. or prefer freight. So my, my thought is anybody who's working on their rig in their garage, having one grinder to work on just sucks. Oh no. Oh, For fabrication, no you want like four of those damn things. Exactly. Especially Harbor freight ones. They're great. Just no, no, get the Makita ones. So, well, yeah. So Makita's my, great, my thought is if somebody doesn't have a four and a half inch grinder already, they're probably not doing a lot of fabrication stuff, but right. if they only have one, 
four and a half inch grinder, they will love you. Yeah. Love you for giving them a second one. Mm-hmm. I would say buy the five and a half inch grinder. Or the five and a Whatever half? the next size up mm-hmm. is you buy that one. Because if you buy a cutoff wheel that yeah, fits that one mm-hmm. and you start wearing it down, yeah. then you can throw it on the other one. Yeah. And, ah. and use it the rest of the way on the smaller one. That's a good call. But, but the reason behind that is so you can have one with a cutoff wheel, one with a grinding, mm-hmm. you know, right. a, a flap. One with a, a wire yeah. brush. A so wire you're not constantly it. changing out. It just it just yeah, it's terrible. No, you're right. You well you yep. go into any big fab shop, you see there's just a whole bunch on the on the, just a wall the welding them. bench or on mm-hmm. the wall, right? Yep. Yeah. So no, at, at home somebody working on their rig yeah. at home, if they have only one grinder, they need a second one. And they will absolutely love you for and it. And they probably drive an <laughs> XJ. Yes. <laughs> wow. Or, sorry. Sorry. Sober Jason. If I'm blaming sober. it on Sober Jason. <sighs> sober Jason is harsh, it man. Is. How many, many days? Well, it's, 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 80. This is How 80, many more days? 80 days. I don't know. Until the 25th. Well, I'm going to go until December 25th. This actually airs over 100. Wow. And it'll be yeah. over 90 days. Yeah. Congratulations. Are you, yeah. you going to get one of those, uh, you know, where you, you pull the numbers off every day? Oh, an advent calendar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Advent yeah. Advent calendar. You know, a whole new meeting. meeting. do that. I should do that for, for December, the countdown. They have, yeah. they have advent calendars that have a bottle of wine or a bottle of beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Yes. My, my cousin a can of beer in every single one. I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to work in this instance, but... <laughs> might be, might be right, Lee. <laughs> I'm yeah. curious. Good point. <laughs> I'm curious uh, how my I'll, body's going to I'll get one for Jason, but I'll give it to me. No, there you go. Oh, Perfect. Nice. Just and then I can have the one on the 25th. There you go. No. Spread no. the love. Okay. You can. Um, All right. Okay. Uh, okay. So there you All go. Right. Who's next? Right. I'm up. And my, I'm going to say this one before anybody else says it so that I make you guys all drink. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a high lift jack. High lift jack. Oh, there it is. High lift jack. Oh, there it is. High lift jack. For un- are they under a hundred bucks? They're right. Yeah, they're the right. smaller version is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The forty-eight inch. The, you get yeah. on Craigslist all yeah. day for like yeah. 40, 50 bucks. Fifty bucks yeah. on Craigslist. Cool. The smaller reddish colored ones, <laughs> rust colored one, is like around eighty bucks. They're not if, four footers, are they? The three footer, three four footer, four footer, four forty-eight footer. inch, yeah, forty-eight, 48 inch. Yeah. yeah. And, but if you four, get the larger feet. one, they do. There are over a hundred bucks. And if you get the Patriot one, yeah, um, it's it's also. Do they make small and large size of that? Yes, do they know? do. They do. Jason. But what it's uh, a certain percentage of that sale goes to back to supporting armed forces of some yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's, that's exactly that. it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so it's like a search trust. and rescue version too, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you that's pretty Patriot those, Jacks. What is it? Yeah. Patriot High Lift or what yeah, is it called? The, yeah, it's, it's the red, white, and blue one. Yeah, so it's the what's the name Patriot. of the brand? Patriot. Patriot. Oh, well, it's High Lift. High Lift. The Patriot Edition. Oh, so High Lift runs it. Yeah. And it's it. just a Patriot yeah. model. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so and you find a Patriot or a Search and Rescue model, and those the funds part of the funds will go towards those organizations. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. So. that's really cool. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. there's other so. brands. There's like the Farmer's Hand or something too. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's, that's a dating oh. website. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> a, <laughs> farmers only. Lee. No, that, is that still out? hundred yeah. bucks or under? <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the brand that you see at uh, Harbor Freight, not Harbor Freight, but Tractor uh, Supply. Tractor Supply. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm there's many going. uses for high lift jacks other than just lifting vehicles. Well, they can be a winch. They can be a winch. Come along. They can. Yeah. You can separate oh, you can so stuff. Much more. Yeah. 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 You can so. flip them and squeeze things too. Yes. Which is cool. Yes. Yes. I have the attachment that's like Jaws of Life for it that has mm-hmm. another another uh, jaw, you know, deal that, and a chain that can go to it. Yeah. Or and you could get the fifty dollar item, the yeah. mate, and super, lift your vehicle. Super versatile. Yeah. <laughs> super versatile. <laughs> Man. Okay. So that's good. High lift jack, Chris. <laughs> Did I steal yours? Here no. we go. Oh, Let's I didn't. Okay. Did anybody else have that? No. No. Really? Did you guys all assume that somebody else was going to no. choose it? I, <laughs> oh, interesting. I just don't <laughs> carry one anymore. I just thought everybody had one. <laughs> so I'm going to go with a little bit of a uh, change. I'm going to alcohol. Woo-woo. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Bring a wheelie wine and whiskey back. Go, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so one of my favorite and one of our favorite uh, bourbons and whiskeys mm. is... Uh, <clears throat> Old Elk. Yes. Mm. But uh, not just the regular Old Elk. Right. I'm talking about the weeded. Oh, yeah. Weeded. And if you can find it, it's... Found uh, it. Yep. Found <laughs> it <here. laughs> wow. That was great. Uh, our perfect. little sampler. Yeah. Um, a little taster. If you can find it, it's, it's uh, usually that. you can find it for about 90 bucks. Yeah. At uh, 90. usual, your hopefully <laughs> local liquor store. I've seen them at, uh, well, you're not going to find it at, at Safeway, but you will find it. Probably at well Rajas and Liver Livermore. Yeah, I know you've got a couple on the bottle or on the shelf, a couple bottles on the shelf. Or Bedmo, you get a total wine. Total wine. Yeah, yeah. At yep. Rajas? 
Yeah. yeah. We're going Gosh. that way home. Yeah. Okay. All Sounds right. good to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I still need to get you guys all your, your bottles yeah, of Odell. Yeah, I thought you were going to bring yeah. that down. My dad has them still. I haven't oh, met geez. up with him. Oh, um, you don't visit your dad anymore? Yeah. Not enough. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, for everybody out there, if you're, is there anybody down in the Central Valley of California? Apparently, like, the Costco's in the Central Valley of California have Old Elk with the, the new gold the gift pack. elk Old topper. Elk. Old Elk Pour, the pour yeah, for the holidays. Uh, the gift pack for like 40 bucks. And yeah. uh, San Diego, the San Diego uh, Costco has them too. Really? There's Johnny, Dirtbag Johnny, uh, he his went wife got some? works there, yeah. and she uh, oh. she hooked us up with some last year. Yes, yeah, she did. It was silver so. last year, but gold this year. Gold this year. So um, I was thinking about it. I'm like, I'm going to have my dad go back and get some more. I need, yeah, I need a couple more. There. are $40 a bottle for Old That's how old much elk. the toppers are. Well, that's it. Exactly. You go online. I think they're selling the toppers for 20 or 25 mm-hmm. bucks. But, um, Steal my freaking But the bourbon right. alone, <laughs> bourbon alone at 40 Sorry. is all day long. That's, a, that's the oh, best thing yeah, for no, the buck. Absolutely. But, you know, again, my recommend the weeded, weeded. weeded, which is a treat. Weeded. It's a super good treat. Uh, if you can track it down, not, it should be around 90 bucks, 85 well, there's, 90 There's bucks. weeded, and then there's pure wheat. Right. Yeah. The weeded. What is the weeded? What do you think, Lee? It's really good. That, the old oak's always yeah. good. But you Smooth. just tried the weeded, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. That's first time. Uh, first time with the weeded, yes. Nice. Yeah. And? Good. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean. Approachable yet, I'm assuming? <laughs> <laughs> I think it assumes a little bit. Okay. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say that unassuming. So okay. that's my pick. Oh, I like it. I like it. Thanks for bringing it back, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Reel it in, baby. One of us just going to be me. One of us streaks. All right. <laughs> what do you got, Lee? Your, all right. your turn. All right. All right. So another uh, curveball here. Santori. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. That, that'd be under the 50. Uh, a gas card. Ooh, Again. Oh, just a nice I, I almost had that on my list. Yeah, gas, almost. You mean like a $100 gas card? A $100, $100 gas card. That doesn't even fill my tank. truck up. Half a tank. <laughs> <laughs> It will get you out. It will. It will get you. And you know what? That's a great, great thing. That because is good. That, like you can always use gas, right? Right. right. It's super right. practical. Like, like if yeah. you're not sure what to get your mate, you give him a gas card. Yeah. Say, get out. There you go. Done. Get out. <laughs> get Leave out. the house. What's uh, What's Tyler doing? I don't know. What's he's he doing? A, in another there? ice ball. I never Jeez, know what he's, he's doing. Over there. He's, mm. he's making a box for us to steal Lorenzo. Oh, I, like I mean, it. he's getting some ice. <laughs> Lorenzo's, Lorenzo's backing up. That was your outside voice, Jimmy. Sorry, <laughs> I thought that was in my head. <laughs> he's backing up. So you know, I, I, every once in a while, stuff leaks out when you're thinking it. It, it shows. Yeah. I, my, uh, I was sitting voice. in my house the other night. It might have been two nights ago, and there was something going on, and my, my wife and daughter were. Bickering about something in the kitchen, they're just go me, 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 and I'm sitting in the living room, just looking at my phone. And did you and pack I, up the rig and leave? No, I just, I, I said, "Will you just stop talking?" Wow! And I thought I said it in my head, but I actually <laughs> said it. And they both went silent, and my wife came around, and poked her head around the corner, and I got the, I got the death. You stare. got the stare, but it worked. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got the look. I know was, how to use the board. <laughs> yeah. So, are you are you sleeping in the lance now? I was gonna say <laughs> he's looking he's what looking for what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> you know? Those are like limited edition samples, and you just <laughs> glug, glug, glug. There, there's not <laughs> even a you might as well left. finish that. Yeah, you might as well just wow. kill it now. Oh yeah, don't mind it. That's a, yeah. that's enough that I can have. A drink Jeez, can't take Tyler anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my gosh. No, no, it's not fireball, dude. It's not fireball. Nope. That's the uh, point. Yeah, I know. That's the point. All you right. Can just leave the cap off. Yeah, so leave the cap I like off, Lee's pick. Get a gas card. That's yeah. awesome. a good one. Gas That's good. really good. So, all right, okay. back to Jason. Back to me. All right, this is a good one. Uh oh. Nobody's got this one. <laughs> I bet. Three you claps ready? good. You ready? It's a Warren Hub wireless winch controller. Oh, you oh. stole that from me. Oh. No. <laughs> Damn it. So it uses a phone app. It'll work. So it, there's a couple different models, four different Warren winches from new to old. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Can I use this to control other people's winches then? If they don't no, reset their pass code? Uh-huh. You would have to have it's some, some plug and play deal. Mm-hmm. It's, it's their... Uh, they run about uh, ninety parrot bucks. Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, parrot yeah, into it. You see people do it other people's uh, Switch Pros. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Turn on and off their lights and stuff. Oh gosh. <laughs> so I got to see this demoed at um, Trail Hero uh, from the Warren Rep, and so it's total plug and play. It gets its power off of. Yes, yeah, how about that weeded, huh? <laughs> 
That's a, I'm kind of sad so that, I didn't, why, that I didn't pour the rest of it. This now. is why you don't drink Fireball because there's way better <laughs> shit out there. This is think. what we were drinking on yes. your guys' 100th, yes. and I pretty much finished the bottle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, right. You're right. You're right. That's so good. That's so, why they only put out the little bottle. Yeah, today. yeah. That's right. But there's, it's over the right over there if you need more. Okay. So, um, so this Warren Hub Wireless, and it'll work up to 100 feet away, Bluetooth, and it works off of an app off your phone. And then if you have a newer style winch, it'll give you how much pull, how much force is being applied on the winch, so really? what, what kind of load it's under, hmm. uh, pulling, pulling uh, the, the amps and stuff. And then um, it'll give uh, uh, so hold batteries. On. Is, it, is it the the so That's the newer force, winches, though. The, the force of the pull, or is it the amperage it's of the, the pull? It's the Newtons. The new, okay. The Fig okay. Newtons. Okay, that's force. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I just pulled that out of my ass, but it is something like that. I think it is. Okay. I think it well, is. You, well, you said it will give you the the pull of the four the pull, and then you went into amps. Well, like, yeah, and the then draw. it's going to say your so draw. I know, okay, it's, so it it's you probably both. based on amps, though. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it's based off. Of it's amps. based on amps that and the motor sense. size. Yeah, yeah, it's like when it's really grinding, like <laughs> like a Toyota trying to get over a little pebble, and it's like really <laughs> stressing. That's when it, when it probably shows. So, hmm. anyways, so they make up for uh, Schmitty built, shitty built winches as well. I mean, it's Smitty built. Did I say yeah. Smitty built? Smitty built. Yeah, Smitty. which I have, time. Yeah. which I have on my rig. Uh, so I could put one which on the buggy. Like a I have. It's a twelve thousand, and I am super <laughs> impressed with that that winch. I just got a thirteen thousand. So yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so there you go. Boom. Wireless nice. Warren winch. That's a good one. Oh. I I am a big fan of wireless uh, remotes for winches. Yeah. So it's just it's always a pain in the ass when you're oh. like, oh, I gotta get a winch. Hold on, let me go dig my remote out from the back of my rig here, right. and it takes 20 minutes while everyone's waiting on you to dig your remote out. When you can just have a wireless remote, uh, wireless remote there in your door, pull it out, or and go, or you have on or dash. I like on the your phone, on dash. On your dash, yeah. Mm-hmm. So all right, um, cool. Thank you. Mine is an aluminum camp table. The Ooh. the one that you yeah. used out yeah, of the that's nice. So I have I got that and I was just kinda like, eh, it's it's just another table. Like who I just kinda got it because I was like, Yeah, I'll try it out, see how it goes on the trail and I use it every single trip. It's one of my most used camp items other <laughs> than my tent. Um and it's a, it's an aluminum table with slots. You just unroll as the the table topper, and then the rest of the legs and the frame and everything folds down super small, and it folds down to like a camp chair. Mm-hmm. Um, you yeah. throw it in your rig, and it's I use it more than anything else. Well, and where so. we go, there's no picnic tables typically, mm-hmm. so you know, <laughs> exactly. yeah, you need some kind of table, exactly, yeah. to yeah. cook yeah. off of, or a tailgate, mm-hmm. or a snail armor. Yeah, yep. that's on the unlimited rock. level. I see. Ooh. Yeah, and so the, those are those run. 70 to 90 maybe 100 bucks on a really okay. bad day it's gotta yeah. be less but than 100 bucks yeah 99.99 70 to 99.99 well there you go so <laughs> look at the do some shopping online oh, no. yeah. perfect okay all right, all right. Jimmy. so mine it kind of goes along with jason's um under 50 dollars, but mine's a tire repair kit oh and so um you know there are many different levels of these oh. a whole um Different styles. Most of them range from like sixty to eighty bucks. Okay. Um, they come with like the and you want to look for ones that have metal handles. The plastic they could be plastic covered, but you want to make sure that they're metal through and through because you, <laughs> when you're jamming the rod part into the tire, you, you want jam you the rod into the hole. Yeah, into okay. the hole. Got There's it. usually you some don't... lube you can put it in. <laughs> like, <laughs> the, wow. That little canister. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you just half laugh on that. You don't yeah. want the plastic to break. No, you don't want the no, protection that would be to bad. break. That no. would be bad. The, and the power <laughs> tank one looks really nice. Yeah, the power tank. I was going to go nice. there. The power tank one is top notch, and Morflate's coming out with one here Ooh. shortly. Ooh. And at a um, in the under hundred dollar range, but he's also going to have that stuff that you just yeah, said. The glue tread. The glue tread, yes. and he. What else? You got something else? Colby valve. Colby valve. Oh yeah, Colby oh. valve involved, involved in this whole system, and mm-hmm. hopefully it's going to be under a hundred dollars or right the, around that. The goal is to get it at ninety nine ninety nine, and we're going to have fifty tire plugs, metal T handles, wow. razor blades, regular valve stems, Colby valve stems, and glue treads. Just nice. before Christmas, and valve cores as well. So wow. ho- I'm hoping they're stuck in the LA port somewhere right now. Great, oh. like ever, like LA everything LA else port. in the country. So oh. talk about um, Colby valves really quick. Yeah. Colby valves are really cool. So um, if you do a lot of off-roading, especially in any kind of rocks, 
um, you know that you want to run rubber valve stems because it is way, 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 way too easy to shear off valve right. stems mm-hmm. while you're rock crawling and out on these rock trails. Um, and so what the whenever you shear off a valve stem, in order to fix that, you have to put another valve stem in. In order to put a valve stem in, you have to demount your tire. Debead. Debead it, take the tire apart, stick your hand in there, and shove a valve stem up through your, your valve stem hole. Wow, you're quite so, violent oh. there. I like to be picturesque. Yeah, okay. I like to paint a picture for listeners. Wow. So it, was, and so, it was a fist upward motion for those of you that are listening at home. <laughs> up yours. Uh, yeah, get it up there. Very up, deep. Up to his elbow, by yeah, the way. It was all the way to the it's elbow. Good. It's deep. big yeah. tires. Yeah, it was, big tires. Yeah, big tires. <laughs> Um, so what Colby valves allows you to do is you can put, you just take your old valve stem that's broken, push it down into your tire, which is perfectly fine at being in there. And then you put in a new valve stem, these Colby valves from the outside of your tire. You don't have to demount a tire. You don't have to debeat it. You don't have to get your hand in there in between the tire and the rim. Um, and literally you can be back on the trail airing up within a minute of shearing off your valve stems. And it's a permanent fix too. They're, they're now their metal valve stems. What the, what replaces them replaces them with. So right. um, it's more likely you can shear them off in the future. But they're not just going to get you off the trail. They're going to get you back home and Perfect. get you on future trips as well. Yeah. So all right. Well, that's a great explanation cool. of Jimmy's uh, recommendation or, or suggestion. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect. I guess it's my turn. It's now. your it turn, is. Chris. You're up. Well, I'll tell you what. I, I'm going to swing back to electronics. Um, I'm liking a uh, little battery power jump starter. I oh, believe. those are amazing. They're great. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have – I don't carry one in my rig, but I'm going to start carrying one. Um, I'm looking for somebody to give me one for Christmas. Oh, there you but go. Uh, you can find these for, in the 90 to, you know, they're, they're all price ranges. You can get super cheap or you can get nicer ones for around 100 bucks. 95 bucks, whatever. We have one at the new new place I work at, which uh, we apparently use quite a bit, and I need to figure out why. But <laughs> <laughs> so Because you don't have a mechanic. That's right. I don't yeah. have a mechanic. But anyway, that kind of got me thinking about it. So my okay. s- my recommendation is a little battery little jump jumper, box. jumper box. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And Remember the, how big the old ones were? Yeah. The yeah. Big these, old these things are thing? tiny now. Yeah. And they have USB ports, so you mm-hmm. can turn yeah. your phone and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Lithium yeah. batteries. Flashlight on them. Yeah. yeah. Flashlight. Yeah. 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 And they, you can't connect them backwards. They won't let yeah, you they do won't anything. Yeah, they won't let you. Yeah. No, they've so gotten a lot better. They're nice. So that's cool. There you go. All right. Lee. So $100, a really good flashlight. Oh hell yeah! yeah I'm on board. Flashlight. <laughs> yeah, any flashlights that me? can survive deep frying? That, that might have been my double yeah. right there. Deep frying. <laughs> yeah. Huh? True story. We True have a story. friend. Uh, we were camping, winter camping, uh, right right in Livermore, Delval, and uh, we were having burger and fry night, and so we had a deep fryer going, and our friend uh, uh, Ira had a little uh, Olight flashlight that he was holding in his mouth, and he was he was the fry guy, and it mm-hmm. slipped out of his mouth into the into the 450 degree Chopped oil. into the oil. And he's like, ah! And at least he stopped just before he put his hand in there. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it took us about 10 minutes to find a pair of tongs to reach in and get his flashlight, but the thing survived. It was still light, lit yeah. up. Wow. So it lit up the oil. It looked super cool. Wow. <laughs> it's called a daily coal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So that's like 70 bucks. So I'm, 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 what's your recommendation for what? Do you have a brand? I, I don't have a brand, but a decent one is going to be more than 50 bucks. Yeah, I, don't remember I mean, a good, good one. one that a good was. one. Yeah, this Olight was like 70 bucks. I bought one right after that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the only thing that fine. happened to that light, it still works to this day, yep. to, as the story goes. But it, it, the lens like ballooned out. It like oh, melted, sure. melted out. But it was like glass <laughs> lens, right? Yep. Oh, but it, it melted out. But it still works. So yeah. it's now it's a diffuser. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nice. So that's I bought one. I used still use it to this day. There you myself, go. Good flashlight. That's a good call. Yeah, that's a good call. So the brand like. is Olight. That's, oh, light. that's a one good brand, yeah. Okay, yeah. and they you can get them on Amazon. They're they're really I recommend them. They're very high quality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Great little magnetic of, uh, chargers too. To yeah, form. yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool stuff. Uh-oh. Cool. Do they have magnetic have, bases have so you can stick this. them on a rig? Or? It is mag. Yeah, you can yeah. stick on a wall or the side of your rig. I, my, my flashlight's about that big. Okay, it's about three that's inches, a, two a, and a half, three inches. How, how big is your flashlight there, Chris? This is not a visual. <laughs> I knew I was going to get a rise out of you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, okay. Excellent. I think that finishes the $100. Anybody got any under, bonus? Any uh, bonus ones? I'm sure it's the sure show, overachiever uh, over uh, here look does. Look I, I, <laughs> I have a flame-resistant shirt. 
Oh, so, again, back to what? the fabrication to... side. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. A good snatch strap. So, so a dynamic strap. So a welding a, a shirt bucks? or... You mean hmm? like... 100 bucks for a snatch strap? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like a, a good one. A, a yeah. bubber, not a bu- freedom rope or whatever? I use... Uh, so there's a great brand that's popped up, and they, they show up, and they do limited batches on Amazon called All Top. Oh, yeah, All Tops. Um, it's a 30-foot... Uh, thirty thousand pound, uh, twenty percent stretch strap, and it comes with two metal bow shackles for sixty bucks. So wow. it's a kinetic strap. It's yeah. Kinetic, yeah. Okay. Mm. okay yeah, cool. Kinetic. Yep. Dynamic, kinetic, snatch, same thing. So on a sidebar, snatch. would you carry that and not carry a extension, like a toe strap? Yeah, like a, a toe strap. A, a, yeah. a static strap. Yep. Um, I would. Just because I'd. <laughs> <laughs> Saving space, right, um, right? But I carry also a, a, a tree strap. Essentially, I carry a yeah. fifteen foot tree strap, okay. so that can in a pinch that could be used. But all right, no. yeah, fair enough. That's why you go four wheeling with your friends because everybody's got a strap. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Plus, I also have an eighty foot. My old winch synthetic line, eighty foot, is oh, always in my rig too. There you go, so. extension winch extension. Yeah. That's right. All, all right. right, cool. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. So but the the, uh, the kinetic strap, just to clear clarify, is not good for pulling somebody out of rocks or stuff like that. You know, it's basically sand, snow, mud. Yeah. Anytime you need right. to break suction or break break a, a hold first, um, rip a bumper off. Yeah, yeah rip, rip yeah. a bumper off. <laughs> Done that a we, times. You know, Pismo <laughs> things happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Pismo. Yeah. Uh-huh. Great at Pismo. Yeah. Any yeah. any other bonus? Uh, no, not for me. Okay, no. I got nothing. Yes, yes. Mm. right. <laughs> bonus money, no bonuses. All right. Well, hey, that was great. <laughs> yes. that was that was good. Good. Uh, we didn't have really what only a couple duplicates. Yeah. I, I stole your only shackles. My gazelle. No, I never added oh. soft shackles. Oh, okay. I knew somebody else was yeah. going to say it, so I didn't. Yeah. Put gazelle, it on. <laughs> the gazelle. The gazelle. I was. Yeah. I thought a gazelle, but then I'm like, no, that's that's too common. Anyway, I think I talked about it last year. Maybe. So, uh, but it's that's all good stuff, mm-hmm, man. Yeah, so uh, yeah. there's some great ideas for you. Um, if if you want to get a hold of any of us, you can uh, email us at uh, all our different addresses that you'll get here at the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay tuned, and if you don't know how to get a hold of us, well, then you figure it out because it's uh, super simple. <laughs> but I would call four zero eight. 800 5169. That's where all the complaints go no, to. No, see, I noticed that you have the same complaint line number that <laughs> was our <laughs> normal line. So that's what weird. happened there? That's weird how that works out. Yeah, that is weird. I don't know. I was just I was just doing what my producer told me. I get. I mean, daily, I'm like deleting 15 to 20 messages. So you guys, maybe I should just start forwarding them back to you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, yeah. we'll play them. Yeah, yeah we'll, okay. we'll play your Perfect. guys' complaints. Perfect. <laughs> Not our complaints. <laughs> Not our complaints. We've got right nothing. We got celebrities that call into our yeah, life. No shit, yeah. right? I mean, you know, you mean Walker? Mr. Walking? Yeah, walking. Like well, you know, like. Like what? I wish I really, I really wish Chris Farley would call back. I know Farley was great. Farley we was get Farley back. Awesome. He did awesome. That yeah. was one of my highlights there. <laughs> yes, that one's yeah. my favorite so yeah. far. Walk so in if and, you can get Farley, Farley to call back, uh, phenomenal. Yeah. So, uh, but it was. A, it, it, I'm still just. I heard start. you guys have an interview lined with Farley. We do. We nice. do have one lined up with Farley. That wasn't gonna. That was a big secret. But there you go. There's the Easter egg right there. Sorry, everybody. But nice. uh, we did get Walk It In, which was awesome. <laughs> and Trail Hero. That that was uh, quite quite unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's amazing what old elk, <laughs> what doors old elk opens up. <laughs> right, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, all right, Lorenzo, come on, come on. Nope, yeah, let's get away from Jimmy. Come on. <laughs> all right, you just come over here. You're safe come here. Come here, sweet. Yeah, you're safe yeah. here. Yeah. Get your sweet ass. Over He's starting there, to yeah. shake a little bit. You know, yeah. he's probably like cold. Yeah. He's no. safe now. Put, okay. put him in the there safe. You go. Safe. <laughs> Is there oxygen in the safe? Or? Yeah. No, there a little bit. Okay. A little bit, good. not a not a whole lot. <laughs> well, uh, that was awesome, guys. Thank you very much, so Tyler and Jimmy from Snail Trail, Lee Lim from uh, the new number one rated uh, on the Unchartable. Yeah, <laughs> just he started at like twenty four and creeped Fluke. right. He just keeps going up every yeah. week on uh, yeah. Cruising to Camp podcast. Woo-hoo. Chris and I, you guys uh, don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. See you later. <laughs> that was it. I, we didn't even get you out. <laughs> Welcome to 2032. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Mariah Carey is still singing. How old am Christmas I now? Song. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, wow. uh, 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 no, you don't want to figure that out. That's a lot of higher math. 11 here. years older. Holy crap. So there you go. There were some good good uh, tips in there. 
Yeah. Know? Maybe it, it, it spurred on, you know, you thought about that and you go, oh, well, that's pretty good. But maybe it spurred on another thought for a, a gift for somebody else. So let us yeah. know. Maybe you can get your significant other, spouse, whatever, to uh, listen to this episode and give them some ideas. Yeah, and then they're going to be like, what are you doing? What are you listening to? What do these? That's why you spend all these money on Jeep parts. Jeep parts. Jeep parts. That's right. Jeep. So, um, yeah, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I mean, I had a good time hanging out with everybody and, uh, you know, like I said, great ideas, some stuff that I never even considered. And, um, you know, Lee Lim, <laughs> I found it humorous that uh, Lee Lim and I kind of had the same idea with the OBD2 readers. Yeah. I mean, mean, he, I I jumped the gun on him because, well, he was next in line. Yeah. But uh, I found it amusing that Tyler had to throw the ham radio thing in there. Well, of course. That was a no brainer. That was a given. Absolutely. I mean, mean, that, the ham radio thing is, is, it's important. It's a great way to communicate on the trail and uh, emergency communications also. But I think we've kind of beaten that one to death a little bit. So well, if if you yeah, if you listen to the podcast, you know we love it. But uh, it's it's important. Yep, important. Taking our propeller hats off, and there you go. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, if you got any uh, any other or cool gifts that you uh, want to shout out to us, we'd love to hear about it. Yeah, where can they do that? Well, you can always email us, Jason or Chris at or Wheeling Wine Lorenzo. and Whiskey. Oh, Lorenzo still has his address still active. Lorenzo at WheelingWineAndWhiskey dot com. That's right. Or you can IG or DM Jason at on the IG at uh, Wheeling Wine and Whiskey. Yeah. So we've been getting a lot of uh, activity there lately, which has been great. Um, and then let's see what else we got. Our phone number. Oh, you know, four zero eight eight hundred five one six nine four zero eight eight hundred. Five one sixty nine. That's right. So give us a call. We've, uh, you know, it's it's amazing the people that call in and the the guest celebrities that just just flock to the to the, to the phone lines there. <laughs> so Have you anything new? Um, no, nothing new. Uh, tease the next episode at all? Nothing new for the next episode. Nothing new for the next episode. Um, no, and no complaints from the snail trail hotline either. Oh, we got so that's that going good. For us. That's good too. Okay, so we got good. that going. Good, good, good. Um, I guess uh, you know Don's given up on the Blantons. So. <laughs> well, he probably should. I did see. Speaking of Blantons, it was kind of funny. It was it uh, Dad's drinking bourbon? I think it was. Uh huh. Did you see that he had like a little mini uh, on, on IG? He had a mini Blantons, and he wondered where those, where you could score those things, and how, oh, yeah. how much they were. Yeah. I've never seen a mini Blanton's. A little uh, grenades. That's right. We exactly. call them uh, little mini grenades. Yeah, um, I've seen them around. Oh yeah. Yeah, but they're 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 rare. They're probably more rare than the <laughs> than the real full size bottles. I'm sure. And they're just as much. <laughs> that would be. Maybe they're sitting on a container ship out in the ocean. Who they knows? very well might be. Uh, they, you know, I've also heard container thefts are way up too. So. Are they really? Oh yeah. Wow. Sit, sitting around on those. How, how do the people get into these? I guess. These know. huge ports, you know, that people can sneak through a fence, and but you got to see somebody's got to see somebody trying to break into a container. I don't know. Oh my gosh! What? Anyway, on to bigger and better things, newer things. Uh, just real quick, I want to go back to our patron Patreon. We have a new patron. Oh, we do. I want to give credit where credits due. Do do so do. Our, do. our newest patron, his name is Victor. Victor, thank you so much for your for your support. Right on, Victor. Thank you. This is the ten dollar barrel select. Sweet. So I believe. Welcome I, to the welcome pro- to, program. Welcome to the club. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. <laughs> I threw your uh, your stickers in the mail. Uh, I think, believe they went out early or well, whatever. We're time traveling, but you should. Have, by the time you hear this, you probably have them, have them in your possession. You should. You should have it. And if you don't, then hit up Chris and find out what is going on. Chris at Wheeling Wine and Whiskey dot com. So, yeah, we also need to kind of mention that our merch page has been updated by Johnny, Dirtbag Johnny. He's yeah, done a great job making that clothing. happen. Yeah, Dirtbag Clothing. So, we you can do a little bundle and save, apparently, yes, now. Yes, you can. Go to our, our, you can go to our website. Wheelingwinewhiskey.com. That's right. Super simple. Or you can go to Johnny's website, uh, dirtbagclothing.com. Um, but... Yeah, there we've got our swag there, and you can get like a, a hoodie, 
uh, a koozie and a beanie and save some some money. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, or they the stickers. I don't know. So it's like it, it comes up in a package deal. Yeah, yeah. It says you, bundle and save. Bundle and save. So if you click on some, let's just for example, I'm yeah, on the click web page. On something. If you go to the first uh, the first item, which is a monochrome pullover hoodie. Okay. You click on that. And it, you scroll down a little bit, and you'll see bundle and save, and it comes up with you get the hoodie, of course, a sticker, and a beanie. So okay. If you, if you buy all three of those items together, uh, normally it'd be sixty, uh, just under sixty-two bucks. You get it for fifty-two sixty-two, and anything and, over thirty-three dollars and is free, free shipping, shipping, right? And free shipping. So. so, so be sure if you if you click on that, scroll down, pay attention to what's going on, and they have to choose your size for the garment. Yes, there's a pull down thing on there. Pick a you know whatever two so X, from uh, like like medium to uh, quadruple X. Yeah, which yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so check it out on the website www.wheelandwinewhiskey.com, and then there's a merch link or a tab at the top of our page. And, uh, yeah, check it out. It's the holidays are coming up. Get your orders get, in early. Get them in now so they can get on that container, that slow boat. To ch- <laughs> slow boat from wherever. <laughs> no. Uh, Johnny does have a bunch of inventory, so he is geared up for the holidays. And uh, he's he's um, uh, said he would get the order out quickly. So Absolutely. So if you are giving it as a gift, then uh, there you go. You get your order in early so you can have it uh, in time for Christmas December 24th, 25th there. Put it under the tree and unwrap it on Christmas Day. Make or it, maybe you do it on Christmas Eve. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why I said the 24th. Maybe. Some yeah. people do. Whatever. Some people do. Yep. Family traditions. Different strokes for different folks. Hank Williams Jr. Family traditions. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So, there you go. Get some Wheel and Wine and Whiskey merch underneath your Christmas tree. That'd make Lorenzo happy. Yeah. he's He he's, needs a little happiness. Tails his, flipping from side yeah. to side thinking about all that. Yeah, he's had a rough year. He's had a rough year. Uh, yeah, he's he, he's. I think he's bowing out of KOH this year. No, 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 no. He's looking forward to it. He's, really? He's, yeah, he's already been showing me some YouTube videos and stuff, <laughs> and he's slipping me numbers of people we should be interviewing. So he's been working behind the scenes. Well, he might be working way behind the scenes. Yeah, in a, in a locked box. Wow. Why? <laughs> Why? I don't know why, Lorenzo. Donkey no. napped. Come over know. here. Just, Come thinking, over here, just thinking donkey napping. It's okay. It's okay. He's good. And that's not when the donkey's sleeping. We're talking it's about nap, stolen donkeys. That's that's why you don't stay in Chris's camper and you stay in mine. That's oh, right. Oh, that's yeah. Right. Well, my camper wasn't even around, so. That's true. <laughs> so, so you can't blame it on me. <laughs> all right. Buy your merch. Get your merch. That's all I've got. Yeah? That's it. Holiday special. We're out.